Oh wow, hey yo, hey yo, hello, I didn't see you there. No, I'm kidding, of course. Um, okay, I am wearing my celestial stuff, and I thought I'd do a nice background thing, but I don't know if I really like this lighting, so... Here, I'll just, I think I'll just turn off the light, or turn on the lights. Okay, yeah, I like that better. Okay, um, where am I? I'm centered. I wanted to talk about astrology. Which way is the... Okay. Astrology. I... Okay. I don't know what everyone's deal is with the little astrology fad, but I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. How do people believe... I don't know. I see... I see those... I don't know whether it's on Tinder or those just... I like the memes where it's like, oh, if you're Pisces, you're this, if you're this, and you're that. Stuff like that. But I, when I see some, in someone's bio, and they're all like, oh, I'm Virgo, Moon, Sun, Libra, or whatever. I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. Because I have absolutely no idea what that means. That doesn't tell me anything about you. And I hate, I hate those people who do try to justify personality types because of those things. Like, I'm like, no, please take responsibility for your actions. And also the fact that, like, people have tried implementing those personality types on me and that's how I know like that's how I know that all this like um star sign stuff is bullcrap because I have literally had people be like oh you're this type and I'm like mm, no and they're like oh okay then since you're not that you're definitely this and like I don't know what the, one of the first things everyone thinks is that I am is Scorpio and I have no idea why let me tell you I really I don't know why I don't know what that means because I don't look up this kind of stuff I don't focus heavily on the astrology, um, fandom or something, but I hate it, and I know that is factually incorrect because, one, people have tried to point, pinpoint Scorpio on me a couple times, and then they always go through two or three more guesses, and they're like, oh, what the heck, then what are you? Um, haha, <laughs> well, for you guys, I'm not gonna tell you what I am, but just know that three times, three times, that's three out of, like, what, the 12 star signs that they were wrong. That's a fourth of them already. You already went through this many, and you weren't close. And that's the thing, I'm like, you can't really quantify what close is, because you were going through, this is what personality types are each sign, and you were wrong three times. Like, ooh, you know? And I'm like, thanks for telling me that, like, like, oh, I'm... This, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm like this. Or I'm a Libra, so I'm edgy and quirky and creative. I had like, no, no. You, what you are telling me is that you had zero personality and conformed to the one that was expected of you with, like, so much force that now that is all you are. And that is annoying of you to do, like, to be. Like, now you are nothing but everything that your little star sign apparently is what it's like. And so now you just convinced yourself into further being that like a caricature of that star sign because you didn't have enough of a personality before then now you had to conform to one because you didn't have anything unique about you before so ooh, like ooh, ooh, ooh. it's just i don't know it's dumb i don't know like i'm like it's fun it's fun in that way that like you know maybe fortune cookies are telling you this and doing that but it's also like you know like if you like do you really believe this because if you really believe it ooh. no that's not to say I don't, I don't think it has any merit, but there was this one time, one of my friends was reading this book about, like, the star signs, and apparently hers was, like, thorough and in-depth and, like, more accurate than other ones, so she was telling me about how I was compatible with someone else and this and that, and, like, that's when it's fun to look at those stuff, you know, like, to, like, think or hope that you're gonna be compatible with someone because of this and that, you know, but that's not really how things are, but her book was so scary accurate and I was like Ugh. but the thing is like, it normally talks about general it's normally all in just generalizations and it's kind of in that way that like psychics or hip or not hypnotists like those mediums are they just say like vague stuff and then they, like you tie meaning to it and so I'm like you know that's like that's cool that's fair you can do that but that doesn't mean it's true and like since it's speaking in generalizations you're more likely to find you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have that like visual cue that they struck onto something and then they're gonna go off of it that doesn't mean that it is true you know and also these are these aren't even my glasses but let me tell you i kind of like the look um but no i don't know like it's fun to believe in astrology in those little situations where it's like oh maybe he likes me maybe she likes me or maybe we're compatible or oh me like we're we're gonna have these ups and downs and stuff like that but that doesn't mean that it is true, and I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's just how things are until there is scientific backing behind it. I don't really think I'm going to think 
anything of it other than it's just a cute little weird fad to be hipster.